Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. I'm making my dog Christmas collars today and I know I'm way behind but getting back from vacation that kind of threw me off on my everything I needed to get done. And before I start I thought I'd show you I made two more of those frames because you know now I'm obsessed with making them. I made this one. I don't know if you can see the colors in it really well or not but I thought it really came out cute with the pearls on top and the snowflakes on top. Anyway, I thought that was really a cute one. And the other one, in keeping with my 150,000 deers, I um, blinged up the paper a little bit. And it had this weird uh, fuzzy collar on it that I didn't like. So I couldn't get it off, so I added the jewels to match the paper. And I thought it came out cute, too. So that's two more of those that I did. So now I have seven of those and I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with them. But I do know what I'm going to be doing with our collars and that's what's important. So we're going to be making uh, collars that have little flowers on them, felt flowers. And I already have two of my three made and I would show them to you if, if any of the dogs walk into the room. I'll grab them off of them. I put them on them as soon as I finish them. The other thing I wanted to make sure I told you before I went any further was y this project can also be done for um, kids things. Like you could put these, you know, in, l let's say you bought just these cheap clips without the little flowers on them and you glued them on there. You can make these much smaller depending on the size of felt you use. So I'll go into that when I discuss it further, but you could also put them on a head a headband, you know, like a plastic headband. I don't know if kids still wear those or even a cloth one if you had one that would match or you could even make it match once uh you know, like let, let's say you got um, a red or green uh, material headband, you would be able to put your flowers on it to coordinate. But today we are going to be focusing on dog collars, as I said, and I'm going to be making mine using this green felt because I really liked it. It's a wool felt and it's more expensive than the regular, but the only green they have in regular felt is this color and I just didn't love that. I thought it was just not that pretty and since it's going to cover the entire collar, I just, you know, I wanted it to look better than that. So what you do is you get your collar and I've already made this the length that Aggie's neck is and you will make sure like the collar itself is three quarters of an inch. Because of these plastic uh, pieces you need it to be, um, you need your, your felt to be about three inches or a little bit over three inches so that it, you can just wrap it around it makes it easier. So that's what we're going to be doing is wrapping and gluing. It's a very easy project. You can whip these out for your dogs or like I said you can make the, the little flowers to put on your kids things very fast and simple. And let me um, grab one more thing and I'll be right back. I forgot to get my trim that I'm going to be using and uh, I so I got that in the meantime and I zoomed in so that you'd be able to really see this close up to make the flowers. We're going to do that first. You want to start, I used a 3 inch roughly, 3 inch by 3 inch squares when I made mine. If you want a smaller one, you just make your squares smaller. If you want two different colors, all I did was when I um, put mine together, I just held two pieces of felt back to back and I, well, I'll show you that when I do it, but I'll explain it as I do that. So what I do, and this is my system, other people do this in a much better way, but this is how I do it. I make my corners rounded, and if you've done this before, you know my system is not like yours or anybody else's. I, I'm not saying this is the world's best way to do it. I'm just saying this is how I do it, and it works for me. What I do is I start anywhere in the on the side and I cut in 
and I do I go when I when I cut sometimes like let's say this corner it might be thicker than another place because I want my flower to have some parts that are higher and some parts are lower and that's how you get it is by making your um, pieces different widths. I hope that made sense. And then you just keep curling, the, cutting it like you're cutting a snake. And when you get down to the end, you want a little circle like that at the end. I'll put it back together so you can see it and know what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like if it was one piece. Then I cut off this. I do that because it's easier for me to start because you're, now you're going to be spinning this, spinning it, twirling it. I'm not sure what you call it. I'm going to be uh, making it into a little circle. And you're going to do this as tightly as you can. And you want to make sure that you keep your bottom flat. You want it all to be, like this is my bottom. I'm going to make sure that my bottom is not um, moving. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to put a dollop of glue there. The reason I do that is let's say that my glue that I do at the end doesn't hold, you know, like, because this is for a dog collar, let's say my dogs play rough, I know that uh, if I put a little dollop of glue every now and then that I have a better chance of this holding up over time than if I just do the big bunch of glue at the end. And I'm holding this and um, I'm pulling it as tightly as I can while I'm doing it. I'm going to put another little dollop of glue. And I pull it when I do that so that I can make sure that I've um, made it as tight as I can. You see that my bottom is as straight as I can make it. And then once you get to that point, you can kind of I do it a little bit differently at this point. Um, you can hold it in your hands in a different way. I know this. you're thinking this is not the best craft for, for Sandy to do, but honestly, it wasn't that hard for me, and I figure if I can do it, just about anybody can do it. It isn't, It like I said, it hasn't been that tricky. The most trouble I've had in doing this is... Uh, that I accidentally let go of it and it un, un um, ravels and I have to re re twirl it. I don't know what do you call that. Wind it. That's it. Wind it. Jeez, what was I thinking? Losing my mind. And then I'm almost to the end. I'm gonna put another dollop of glue right there. Pulling it when I do it. Hold it a little bit. Keep going. And my bottom, you can see my bottom is pretty flat. Well, you couldn't see it probably yet, but you'll see it in a second. And then when you get almost to the end, at this point, I'm going to put a little bit more glue right there. And that way it kind of sets it up so that you can get your bottom. See, that's my bottom. So what you're going to do now, I'll leave my bottom up like that. You're going to put a lot of glue. And I know you're thinking to yourself, this is the moment Sandy burns her hands off. Yes, it is. Uh, but luckily you'll be here to witness it. Will you call 911? Because I might need somebody to do that. Then what I do is rather than me touch it, I bring my little craft mat over, which is covered with glue, and I just kind of push it down so that the glue sets up. And since it's on a craft mat, I mean, my craft mat's covered with glue strings right now, but I'll just clean it once I'm done for the, for the day. And that, whoa, and that, oh, with a little bit of glue on it is what they look like when they're done. Now you can trim them down, you can make them um, all one height. If, if like, um, what I noticed when I was making these for the dogs is the dogs are going to fight and so you don't want them to be really high. So what you can do is, this one's got a lot of glue on it so I'll use this as my example. 
and I'll just bring that along for the ride. What you can do is you can just kind of go around the edges like this and that's the bottom, I'll cut that off too. Nobody will see that, but um, then once you've done the sides, you can just go around the top and level it off so that if if you don't want one that's high like mine are, you can do this to make it you know shorter, or you can start out with let's say instead of three inch squares, you start out with a two and a half inch start with two and a half and if that's still too high then go to a two inch square and see if you like it but that's how you can round it out and make it look um, it's shorter and it's um, it, it'll fit on my on my um, collar better then I use these two white ones I have a whole bunch but um, some of them are for my sister and I think I'm just going to trim them down as well so I had to zoom back out for this part so that you can watch me do it. The easiest way I've found to do the the folding and the making the felt work on this buckle thing is to use a a couple of pins, clothes pins to hold the the uh, whole piece in place. The material f uh, that this uh, um, collar is made out of is very very slippery and every time I've done this the problem I've had is trying to hold it in place and that's really been frustrating I think I'm gonna flip it over and do it this way I think it'll be easier don't know why I didn't think of that must have done it this way before because I didn't have to deal with that buckle the last time so let's make sure I get that piece in place and then I'm going to do the same thing up at this end I'll pull the whole thing down this way so you can see it and put that there that way when I glue it um, I w won't have to hold two pieces at once I'll only have to hold I only have to bring this piece down and hold it so this is this is the part where I'm going to burn my my hands off and you're going to probably have a big chuckle out of it but um this is the this is the moment of truth and I didn't see how I didn't put glue right in that section that's because I learned a valuable lesson about how not to burn yourself if you make it in like um inverted L like it goes the glue goes here and up here then you can stick your finger right there while you're trying to put it in place I hope that made sense I think it did and then let's see why is this thing not wanting to play with me so I'm gonna move this clip down to the other end and hold that in place all right. So now that you've got it started, this is much easier to do once the first dollop of glue is in there. Trust me when I say that's the part you're going to really really not like doing is that first first moment. My nails are very yellow because I use self tanner on vacation because I'm not allowed to get sun, and when you're in St. Martin and you're the whitest person on the beach, literally nobody is whiter than me. I just felt so self-conscious that I used self-tanner and then of course no matter how much you scrub your hands your hands always end up with that stuff on them and I hate it but what are you gonna do got that part and I'm just gonna keep gluing her down and you really want to glue uh, further back because your glue you don't want your glue to come out like squirt out from under your I can always go back and add more glue, you know, once uh, once we've got the whole project glued. I hate those glue 
strings when you're doing anything like this. You get those strings. And I know you can get rid of them with your hot your um, heat gun, but I still hate them. I'm probably going to have to trim my felt a little bit because it's still a little bit long. We had a really good time on our trip, and um, we celebrated Rich's birthday down there, which was a lot of fun. I videotaped a lot of it so that I could kind of recreate our trip for you, in case you cared. If you don't, you don't have to watch it, but um, um, St. Martin's a really lovely place, and I thought it'd be nice if people saw some of the things that we see that are so lovely there, and um, we had a really, really nice time, and the weather was 50% chance of rain every day, and that means in the you know if you don't know in the Caribbean that means it's going to rain for five minutes and be done versus here where if it says that it's going to rain for six hours and then it's going to drizzle for the next eight but um, it was the uh, the weather was really really nice. I did everybody's collars but Aggie and she's very patiently waiting. The uh, our dogs really like collars. They'll wear three or four of them at a time if you let them. Always get a kick out of that that they like wear collars so much, and so it's nice to have a Christmas collar. They're girls after all. Girls like bling. Why not have a little bling? And if uh, if one of them has a necklace or you know like any kind of bandana, and the other ones don't, then they'll rip them off each other until nobody has one. Because they're jealous, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why dogs do the things they do. Now I'm going to show you how to make leaves. If you don't, if you've never made leaves, here's what you want to do. If you're going to make a single leaf, all you do is you just cut it in the shape that you want, like that. If you want a double leaf, so that's a single leaf and you just trim it. If you want a double leaf, what you do is you fold your material over like that and you start your leaf at, on the fold like that and then you don't, you don't, you leave a gap and then you do that and that makes a double leaf. And then they're exactly the same because you folded the material. It's like making um, paper dolls. So that's how you make the leaves. And I have some leaves already made. I just have to play with them and decide which ones I like. And all I did with the other ones is I took my trim that I liked, which is this red and green. I'm going to since I zoomed in, I want to make sure I'm in frame. I don't really want to zoom out because I think it makes sense for you to be able to see this up close. I'm sure there's a better way to do this than I'm doing it and a safer way. But what I did is I just took my glue gun and I did not run a very big dollop of glue on this. But I ran the glue down the length of my cord like that much at a time and then I placed it in the center like that and then wherever it stops I got felt on my glue gun hard to believe I just keep going Anyway, um, I do have some great videos from the trip and uh, Rich is crying about it because there's like 50 different videos of like 20 second snippets each one and um, he's not looking forward to having to um, splice all those together. Now, let's say this is yours and I don't know if you can see this or not, but on mine right in here I have some glue and I don't really like that. It's bugging me. So if, it, if you have a part like that that bugs you, here's what I did on my other ones. I just ran a dollop of glue like that and put one leaf on the one part of glue I didn't like and put my other leaf on the other dollop of glue that I didn't like 
And then I have this one and these two that I'm going to put on. And so I trimmed, as I showed you before, I trimmed these down. And you're going to put a significant amount of glue on the bottom of them. And then you want to really hold them in place. Push them and hold them until you're sure that they're really stuck there. And then I'm going to put a white one on either side. You can do, uh, you know, you could go the whole length of this if you wanted to with flowers. You could do, as, you know, as many or as few as you want. And the same with trim. You could put as much or as little trim on it as you want. But I liked the idea of having a little bit of trim and um, three flowers on each one with leaves. And then because my dogs have long hair, I put them on so that the leaves go up so that their hair um, doesn't... Uh, isn't doesn't hide it because if you put it on this way underneath then their hair will push them down and you won't see it at all so that is how I make my dog collars in our series going to the dogs I'm not sure what number this is maybe number eight nine I don't know a hundred <laughs> I don't know anyway don't forget that you can also do all kinds of things for kids with this if you want to give it a shot. I don't um, I don't think my system for flowers is the world's best. I'm sure there are all kinds of videos on how to do those, but it works for me. Please subscribe and tell your friends about me on social media. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.